Hi everyone. So today I am going to paint a larger canvas again and try to replicate a painting that I made uh, for my mom when I was in Canada. Uh, I went there just to have supper and then she was like, do you want to paint? And I was like, of course. Uh, she had everything I needed. So I did a painting and it turned out amazing. The colors I've used was uh, dioxazine purple. Uh, I think I used uh, Alizarin Crimson U, some kind of red, but I'm not using the exact same color. I don't have the exact same colors. I'm using similar colors. I used uh, Brilliant Gold, Carbon Black, Zinc White. So today I'm using Brilliant Gold, Carbon Black, Zinc White, and Quinacridone Crimson, and Permanent Violet Dark. The idea here is to have the violet contrast with the gold and have a little bit of red because I always like red and black and red and gold together. Uh, you'll see it's not my usual color palette, it's much darker, but the gold really makes it all pop and I love it. Also what I'm going to do is a flip cup. I'm going to use probably three cups or something. and. Yeah, three or four cups, I'm not sure, I'll see. Probably three. And um, I'll vary the colors, vary. I'll vary the colors as I go. Like in one cup, I'll put a lot of black. The second cup, not so much black. In the last cup, not, no black. In one cup, red, no red in one cup. And etc. You'll see. As we go. Anyway, I mix my paints the usual way. They've been resting for about half an hour, let the air bubbles rise and pop. Um, I've used all golden fluid acrylics today, and so for the colors, what I did is two part paint to eight part medium, so 20% paint to 80% medium. Uh, golden acrylics can't handle being diluted that much. Uh, the colors will still dry bright and punchy. Um, I, I just can't say <laughs> enough good things about those acrylics. Uh, and yeah, to those I added about 15% water. And for the zinc white, what I did is about 40% paint to 60% medium, no water. The reason why I put more paint to medium ratio in the zinc white is I want to keep it dense. I want more pigment and so it will be a more heavy mix. And the zinc white, what I'll do is I'll put in the bottom of each of my cups uh, for the flip cup and it will end up on the bottom, uh, on the top. It's on the bottom and when you flip it ends up on the top. And it being heavy and dense will make it want to sink into the other colors and while it does that it will push the other colors up in a cell-like pattern. And the water also helps uh, lighten the density of the colors. So I put water only in the color to help them be even more lighter uh, and change a little bit their viscosity and consistency. Think of it a little bit like oil and water. When you pour water over oil, the oil will float up in a cell-like pattern kind of the same thing happening here on a less drastic level because it's not um, that different of a consistency and that different of a density. So yeah, I think I talked enough. Uh, I'll zoom you in and we'll get started with that. All right, so I have uh, another canvas that's the same size as my canvas that I want to paint. This one is wrapped. So I'm going to use this one to put my cups on, pour my paints in my cups, and then I'll put the one I want to paint on top of that and flip it. So yeah, let's do this. 
I've got to remove the brushes from my paints. All right, so I have my zinc white that I'll split into four equal parts, or somewhat equal. I'll try. And see, since this canvas is still wrapped, if I put paint on it, then it doesn't affect the canvas. Now, the gold is the second most dense paint here. See how I'm using this side of the cup? just to let the paint really just stack up on top of the other paint. The gold I want everywhere, but I think I, I'll want more gold in the middle. And then the three other colors that I have left are pretty Pretty light in density, and they're pretty similar too, but I'm gonna go with the red. And I'll put no red in this one, more red at the top. And the purple. More purple at the bottom. And finally, carbon black. Carbon black is a black that has a very light pigment density. So I'm hoping that maybe, just maybe, I'll get some cells out of it. And I'm going to put black everywhere, just a tiny bit of it, just to unify the whole thing, like the gold. More black at the bottom though. So I think I'm about set. <clears throat> My other canvas here. Hmm. So, and now let's remove those cut. Cover my corners as always, because corners never wants to be covered. I have some black cells. Ooh. My ceiling has a little bit. Um, how can I put that? Close. Okay. Alright, so 
I lost my cells uh, while tilting, and now I'm messing things up. I'll just leave it be. Um, but maybe I'll get more. We'll see. I still like the movement in the piece. I'll cover my sides, give you a time lapse, and see how it goes. Alright, so this uh, didn't quite turn out as I expected, uh, but I still quite like it. I think I kind of messed up a little bit my uh, order and the densities. Like I said, they were close, but I think the lightest in density was, uh, uh, in fact, the Queen Aquilon Crimson, and I put it uh, first after the gold. Uh, but I did get some cells on the side where I did not put red uh, but as I moved the canvas and everything I flipped them off the edge <laughs> uh, that's all right though because there's uh, quite a bit of interesting things happening in this painting uh, note the movement the movement is really nice um, I kept moving it a little bit uh, as it settled because I didn't quite like how it settled and it had a little bit too much paint on the canvas. This being a large canvas, the extra paint would have just pulled in the middle, so that's not uh, quite interesting. And I wanted that gold part to, the gold streak really, to go across the canvas as much as possible. I think I managed pretty well. But then there's a bunch of cool things happening at the top here. There's less paint there. Uh, I'm not quite sure what is happening, but I mean, I'll, I'll let it be. Uh, I'll see how it dries, because really there's a bunch of stuff happening in transparency and uh, like lacing and stuff here. The red is kind of lacing in the white and it's really cool. There's a bit of gold here uh, through the white. It's like a little bit of light coming through. I like it. Um, this is going to dry much darker too. Like the purple is going to dry dark. The red is going to dry dark. Plus there's black in it. Uh, only the gold should pop. And right now it's a bit dull because it was diluted with medium and the medium is white and opaque when wet. But as it dries, the medium dries transparent, leaving only the pigments and the paint color to pop so yeah and that's why it dries darker too because the medium being white when wet it lightens the colors it lightens the colors when uh, you mix them with the medium but as the medium dry it lose that white color so the colors that were lighter lose the lighter part and also uh yeah i forgot what i was going to say so <laughs> I don't think it was important. Um, but yeah. I think it's a nice painting. I'm quite happy with it. I can't wait to see how that will dry. Um, and yeah. Next time maybe don't put all the cells over the edge. But even with no cells. Well, th there are cells popping up at the top. Weird ones, but still cells. A little bit of gold too. So, yeah, we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. We'll, uh, give it some time to dry. It's still changing, it's still settling, so we'll see, we'll see. Can't wait to see how this one will dry. Much darker, most likely, but I think it will be lovely. And uh, I'll have to try this again. I love this color combination, it's just really nice. And we're back! And, um,. I'm a pretty happy painter, I have to say. It's not the result I was expected. I threw myself off the edge and yeah. But I quite like it. I quite like uh, the gold streak. Can't wait to see how that will dry. I hope it, I really hope it pops. I think it will. Um, and I like the overall movement, the overall lines. I um, think it's nice. So. Let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know if there's a 
color combination you would like to see. Uh, especially with the metallic paints, like one metallic paint and other colors. That would be interesting, I think, because uh, I feel like uh, one metallic color in the painting really makes the whole thing pop. And it's a different texture in the whole canvas and it's really interesting to the eye. So, uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know if you have a color combination you want me to try. And, uh, yeah! Cool painting. The one I did for my mom though, much better. I liked it much better and it was uh, really really nice. So yeah. Uh, see how it dries? Maybe it will dry uh, to be uh, really cool. Who knows? <laughs> anyway, on that note, thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great day. Make sure to subscribe for more and I will see you in the next video. Bye!